This weekend, it goes down. Memphis versus the country. They're coming in from all over. I've been talking with teams from all over. The Hills to Hoopers Hoop Fest, December 6th and 7th, Friday and Saturday, this weekend at Lausanne. All the best girls programs in the city, in the state, and in the region will be in the Memphis area. But no, that's not it. The Hoop Extravaganza is following that two weeks, December 20th and 21st, Friday and Saturday. Arlington versus Jonesboro, Whitehaven versus Tipton Rosemark will top off a crazy Friday night. But Saturday is loaded as well. Teams coming in from Mississippi, Bolivar Central coming in from out of town, Tipton Rosemark, girls and boys. Hey guys, welcome into Ultimate Preps. Cottrell Macklin out at Houston High School for a showdown. Last time, I wasn't there, but I heard. Olive Branch got beat down with the big belt that your daddy grabbed when you get bad grades at school. They got a bad beat down out in Olive Branch against Houston, but tonight they come to the home of the Mustangs. Can they return the favor? Well, here you go. Check this out. The Houston Mustangs going to lace up their kicks and try to get this one going as they are going to welcome the Olive Branch Conquistadors. The Mustangs galloped their way out to Mississippi previously. This was a few weeks ago. They went out there and whooped some butt. They gave them a handful of butt whooping. But, hey, the question is, does Olive Branch have revenge left in the tank? This guy here is a monster. Cameron Matthews looking to lead his Keisters to a dub. Wes Taylor looking to shoot out the lights. But Mason Miller... And oh yeah, none other than TJ Madlock looking to lead his team to the win as well. We're gonna open up. Taylor gonna kick down to Matthews, who's gonna swing on the other side of the floor. Knockdown jumper for Landon Jeffries. He got a nice bucket to go, but that wasn't the only one for the Keisters as they started off missing the next shot. Rebound put back for Matthews. That nice bucket to go. And then if you get this guy started, you're going to be in trouble. Miller's going to knock it down from outside. Threes, please. Cameron Matthews going to find the guard on the outside. He knocks it down. He had a big-time night. I'm not sure what type of role he plays every night, but last night, Brian Hill came ready to ball. Here's another one. Same spot, same result. What a Miller kid. He's knocking that thing down once again from the wing. And then on the other side, they look to finish. They can't do it, but Matthews there to clean up the glass. No Windex needed on that one. Madlock going to kick it down low to a nice finish off the glass for the big. On the same side, Marsh is going to cross over on Matthews, kick it over to the corner, knock down three from outside, and Xander Yates finally gets on the board. Cameron Matthews going to pull up, looking like a guard on that one. He tell you, I can do it all. 13 to 12, Olive Branch leading by one, heading into the second quarter. A look down low, got by Madlock. TJ goes up tough, gets the and one bucket. No need for any more defense to come and get him. He was tied up like LeBron on that one and still got it to go. The Keisters on the offensive end swing over to the wing. Wes Taylor has a hand in his face, but that's no problem for the big-time Jackson State signee. Here's this kick over to the top of the key. A knockdown three that's missed. And then a rebound pump fake on three defenders. Way to come ready to ball and get ready to do your thing, Mr. Pearson. He got that bucket to go. Matthews going to swing, uses the spin, goes off the glass, but gets called for a charge. The coach trying to get him locked back in. Yeah, it was a charge, but let's just stay on task to get the dub. Great defense by Taylor. West going to kick it up on the fast break, go to the cup, right over the iron. A nice, easy one. It's going to take us into halftime. It's the Olive Branch Keisters with a three-point lead heading into the locker room. The Ultimate Hoop Series. All December, every weekend in December except the 14th, 15th weekend. But January, the Ultimate South, February 1st, fuel to the fire. And then, you already know, Hoop Extravaganza is the second event following the Hills to Hoopers, and it is loaded. This is an all-boys event at Tipton Rosemark Academy in Millington, Tennessee. 38053. Make sure you show up as the zip code's going to be jumping. Be there. 
Let's jump into the second half. Third quarter, Matthews on the fast break, going to kick over to the wing. They're going to swing through, go up, and it is sent back the other way. Why would you think you can come in with Mr. Field? He plays the field and knocks it down on that one. Nice block by the big, and then Matthews going to find the range once again. I mean, he's got the jumper to go. It looks elite at this point. Nice block. On the end for the Keisters, and then Madlock going to the cup, putting it right over the iron off of the baseline take off the defender. Wes Taylor going to cross over the defender, step back, put the thing up, and it's nothing but cash. The next play down, he gets the next one to go. He's heating up here in the second half. Wes Taylor showing you he's got range, but not only that. Cross over, go to the cup, off the glass, back to back to back buckets. It's going to take Olive Branch with an 11-point lead right out the gate, mainly because of Wes Taylor. He's a big-time guard. i tell you one thing. Olive Branch has to play Briarcrest February 1st. Fuel to the fire. That's going to be good. But look at this. Mason Miller stepping over the defense, letting him know what's up. He turns around, but... Hey, anything bigger than that? Look at the flop, though. <laughs> Wes Taylor showing you the flop game. He would have got fined in the NBA for that one. I mean, they even got up laughing and, and showing out. But, you know, Cameron Matthews and the squad need to get locked back in. Even the fans going crazy. Look at him, man. Trying to say, let's get more of that. This is what I want to see. But on the other end, you got fans going at it as well. They're talking trash. Kick over to the corner, back to the wing. Taylor going off the glass. This time, he gets called for a charge. Being a little too aggressive, but the next play down, he says, okay, you don't want me to take it to the paint? Let me step outside and give you some of this jumper. 17 on the night for Wes Taylor. Big time game for him in the Keisters. He was a huge part in keeping the Keisters on top in most of this game. Second half. The Keisters came to play there in the second, and right before the fourth quarter started, they locked up on defense to end it, and they take us to the fourth quarter with a big-time lead. Who was y'all that said that Houston is the best team in the world? The best team in the region? I mean, have you seen this Olive Branch Conquistador team? They came to ball. Yeah, they got beat up out at their house. But I tell you one thing, Wes Taylor, Cameron Matthews, and the Keisters looking like they're returning the favor the easy way. Taylor crossing over. Miller is there to block it. I mean, this guy has heart. He's coming tough. I'm not sure who he's been working with on hops and everything, but this guy's hand IQ, his movement, his footwork, everything is all up to par. Completely different than what I've seen from last season. That is a major upgrade. Whatever you bought from Walmart, in the package deal during Black Friday, give it to me. Put it in a basket. Call your daddy and tell him I said, give me a discount too, by the way. Miller, right over the defense, puts it right in for a nice bucket. There's the guard looking down low to Matthews. He spins and slams. It's not going to be called, though. They got fouled before that dunk. And then the no-look pass from Taylor. Going to finish off the glass. 52-32, to 20-point lead. For Olive Branch, y'all talked about how good Houston was. They're this, they're that. They got this player, they got that player. The Keisha says, forget about it. We coming in loaded like a baked potato, bacon, sour cream, onions, and ranch. All loaded in on the offensive side, and you can see it here in the fourth quarter. They're trying to wrap it out, and it's just a little playing around at this point. But I tell you one thing, this guard right here, I'm going to show you on the defensive end. He just fouled hard on the offensive end on the other side. Now it's a 15-point need. Now look at this. I mean, there's only less than a minute left in this game, and you're playing that hard. I mean, come on. This is not football, kid. I mean, just get out there. Let's finish the game. Nobody wants to get hurt. We all have games after this. Please. Keister's going to follow to a dub. Big-time win. For them, the Olive Branch Keisters coming out from Mississippi, and then they turn up in the locker room. They tell you, you know what it is, but that's not the only thing. They even pulled out the dance move. Somebody call Drake and tell him, and I don't want the highlight bling. Uh, I don't even know if that's the way it go. But he getting it going, though. That's the end of it. Stay tuned for some more Ultimate Preps Ball.